Hi there. You are manufacturing or importing products into the United States, and you're probably wondering, what federal safety requirements apply to my product? And the place to begin when asking those questions are three questions. One, what is my product? Two, who is my product for? And three, what is my product made of? And we're going to discuss those first two questions in this video, and we'll discuss the other question in another video. The Consumer Product Safety Commission, the CPSC, regulates thousands of products. If you manufacture a children's product, that is the subject of this video. What is a children's product? I'm glad you asked. A children's product is a product that is designed or intended primarily for children 12 years of age or younger. What does that mean exactly? Well, we've provided four guidelines to help you figure that out. The first one that's on your screen is whether or not a statement by the manufacturer about the intended use of the product, if that is reasonable. Secondly, whether the product is represented, marketed, and advertised as appropriate for use by children 12 years of age or younger. Third, whether the product is commonly recognized by consumers as being intended for use by a child 12 or under. So for example, you can't just come out there and say that a pacifier for an 18 month old is 12 plus because you don't want to comply with the regulations. It doesn't work like that. And lastly, the age determination guidelines, which is a large document that's available for free that helps you understand how children develop developmentally, how they interact with products and toys. And while it does appear to be solely for toys, we do use this document as well to figure out the intended age audience of your product. So the question that you always have to begin with when you're dealing with the CPSC is, is this a children's product? And if the answer is yes, the next question is, what age is this product intended for? Because that is going to determine the set of requirements that you have to test your product for and subsequently certify that your product complies with those requirements. And then lastly, you'll have to label your product as well. Uh, in case there's ever a, pro a problem, we'll know and the consumer will know how to handle that and how to find you. Okay. So, these are some very rough guidelines that we've outlined, but the Commission has put together an interpretive rule that helps provide further examples. So, for example, uh, here are some very common elements to a children's product. Uh, the small sizing of a product that might make it uncomfortable for an adult. Exaggerated features like big buttons or bright colors that appeal to children. Uh, licensed characters or other cartoonish characters that are clearly intended uh, for children under 12. Uh, and other things that associated with children. Now, there are plenty of products that children use that are general use products. And just because a child can use a product does not necessarily make that product a children's product. The word primarily is a key word. So if, for example, you have a game of chess uh, or checkers, which cognitively a child of 9 or 10 could start playing. and hopefully continue playing their entire lifetime until they're 99 years old. Well, just because that child is 9 and you write on the box 9 to 99 does not necessarily make that product a children's product. However, if you have another product that's clearly intended for a 7-year-old girl and the picture on the box is of a 7-year-old girl playing with that product and it would have diminishing, it would not have a lot of appeal to a 15-year-old girl, then that product is likely going to be a children's product. On the whole, if you're making a children's product for a child under 12, you'll need to figure out the exact age because certain ages mean that certain requirements apply. So for example, if your product is for children under 3, then small parts testing will be required. If it's intended for children between 3 and the ages of 6, then labeling for small parts will be required, but testing is not going to be required. And there's other requirements that are very subtle and depend on the appropriate aging of that product. So, I'm going to ask you to review the frequently asked questions on this page, and if you need further assistance, to look at the age determination guidelines and do a quick keyword search using your Control F function, or if you're on a Mac, uh, Apple F, and look for your product that you're making, and you may find some assistance from uh, CPSC staff in figuring out what an appropriate age determination is for your product. Please join us on f continuing videos for further guidance. Thank you.